I don't seem to see any big signs of vermin underneath, which is a very good thing because vermin will they'll burrow. Squirrels and mice and possums and especially armadillos, they'll dig tunnels underneath. Mm -hmm. so the good thing is we don't see any big signs of that. I don't see any dead giveaways for any kind of termite activity. Uh, sauna tubes in the back look like they're good. Seems as if the house has been constructed well. Um, I wouldn't go. Oh, hold on. It's got sauna tubes up here too. Okay. Yeah, see this. I don't know if you can catch that on video or not, but this section right here where my finger, it, my index finger is, mm -hmm. it's round which is an indication of a sauna tube. Okay. Not to mention it's smooth, which is more likely the form material that's been used. Somebody spent some money on it at one point in time because I seriously doubt those are of era of the construction. Got another one right there. Center space. Pocket apart. advice I can give for this home is the installation of gutters in order to evacuate the water away from the foundation. Um, as far as any kind of lock grading, it doesn't really look like we need it other than filling in that hole in the back. And I highly advise putting in some sort of an access hatch either in the veneer on the exterior or in a closet to go through the floor in order to enable access and reef it. Okay. Uh, that original access hole that we were just playing with really needs to get filled back up because that's an not only does that allow for individuals to go underneath, it also allows for animals to get underneath and it also allows for water to flow freely underneath them. Okay. Uh, the biggest, the, the best thing, the best bang for your buck for this house to maintain stability is going to be a set of gutters. Believe okay. it or not. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you.